Hello. Um, this is day three on our expository essay. And for day three, we're focusing on the hook and how to write the introduction, the introductory paragraph. So our focus will be to use the uh, letters H I T hit on your introduction. Um, we will hook the reader and then we'll write our introduction to our introductory paragraph. So you're going to read all the information and watch the videos for slides two and three. And then there's a video on slide one for introduction. Use the outline on slide six to create your introduction. Write your introduction um, paragraph on slide seven and then submit to Canvas. So let's look at what, we're, what we are talking about. Hit on the introduction. The introduction should include your hook, which is your H. You should introduce your topic, which would be one, possibly two sentences, and then you have to write your thesis statement. So that is how you write a thesis statement. There's a great video here that you need to watch on writing an introduction. It's really helpful. And then for your introduction, your hook should be intriguing, shocking statement, an anecdote, an analogy, a quote that will grab your audience's attention. Always avoid starting your essay with a question or never, ever say, let me tell you what I will be writing about. You are not giving a speech. You're not going to say, today I'm going to tell you. No, 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 no. When you're writing an essay, you're writing a paper. Your audience knows that you're telling them. You don't need to tell them that you're telling them. So avoid doing that. You will introduce your topic, a sentence to introduce the topic of your essay, and you want to explain what you are writing about to your reader. You're sort of setting up your thesis statement, and then also connect your creative hook to your thesis statement. And then last, in your introductory paragraph, you write your thesis statement, which remember is only one sentence. So your last sentence in your introduction tells the reader what your essay will be about and is stated as a fact. And don't forget, your thesis is a fact. It is one sentence, it gives your point, it takes a side, and it sets up your examples. Now, your introduction should be no more than four to five sentences long. Your mentor text introduction, which is your hook, introduced topic and thesis. So here's an example. Having a friend is like having a pillar supporting a house. That was your hook. Without it, the house would collapse. Just like that house, without a loyal, trustworthy friend in one's life, one would collapse too. That's your topic. And then it is important to have a good friend in life because a person will always need someone to rely on and trust. That's your thesis. And for... Remember, the introduction includes all of these parts. Here is your example. So when we're writing our hook... There are certain rules to follow for um, writing your hook. Um, use action to make your readers feel like they are involved in your story. Or you could use a word picture to describe the setting. Tell your readers about where the story takes place to make them feel like they are actually there. Um, don't ever ask a boring question. Um, use an interesting fact to help them reel in their readers. And then use a conversation. Let your readers hear what you what is being said to draw them into your story. And um, I'm going to say no on the ask a question. Avoid starting your essay with a boring question. And never say, let me tell you what I'll, I'll be writing about, just like we said. And here's another video that you should write about. And I'm going to make that a little more interesting by adding a nice, bright color to go around that. All right, so writing your essay. Directions. Begin writing your introductory paragraph by completing this outline. Um, your hook. So what is your hook for? And here's the hamburger um, recipe that we've talked about several times in class. Start typing your hook here. Introduce your topic here. Write your thesis statement here. And you can just copy your thesis statement from what you wrote yesterday. And then you're going to put all the information together on slide six to write your introductory paragraph. So top your, literally put all three of those together. You can copy and paste to write your introductory paragraph. And when you're finished, don't forget to turn it in for a daily grade.